there, boss. So, what was so important that you had to try and call me out of an interrogation? <laughs> you know, a couple of months ago, do you remember how we ended up bugging a bunch of phones that a lot of people were absolutely convinced would turn up useless in the long run? Yeah. They were wrong. I took the liberty of editing all of the footage that I got to watch into a nice little package for you and anyone else you want to pass it along to. Just tell me what it's about. Hold your horses, come on, have some fun with it. It's a bit hard to explain in words, really, so you're, you're gonna have to watch this and you're gonna want to as well. I really missed you. I I hate this whole quarantine lockdown thing. I can't stand it. Yeah, I missed you too. A lot. Everything okay? Everything's fine. You sure? Don't worry. You worry too much. What's going on? Been meaning to say for a while, but I just can't. Find the words. Oh. Tell me, it's okay. I think we need to break up. What's this got to do with anything? Calm down, calm down. We'll get there eventually, but you know, this is this is important. It's the beginning of it. We'll get there eventually, like I said, and trust me, it'll be worth it. Okay. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Oh. It's been someone else for a while. What? Who is it? What, what are you talking about? Just tell me, Amy. He loves me. And I love him. You know something's up. I don't believe this. There's nothing more to it. I can see you've been crying. It's hay fever. Come on, we both know you're not very good at lying. I'm not lying. Sure. Believe what you want. I will. This is not you. You'd never cheat. It's not in your personality. It's not who you are. People change. What's changed? Everything's changed. Yesterday. I don't understand. And it's never going to be the same again, so you may as well just leave. I don't want to go anywhere. There's heaps of girls out there who are always after you, always eyeing you. I don't want any other girl. I want you. I don't want you. Baby, you don't mean that. I do. I mean it. Bro, I cannot wait for things to start opening up again. I've been living off two minute noodles, homemade nachos and soda and I think I'm getting a little baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. What's, what's up with you? What's happening? You know, things. Yeah, I, I know things, but what sort of things? You don't sound yourself. It's Amy. Amy? What about her? Yeah, um, she... She just dumped me. Man, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry to hear... You doing all right? Yeah. You know, I'm sunshine, rainbows and butterflies. I'm fine and dandy. What do you think, Matt? How do you think I'm doing right now? Yeah, I, sorry, Matt. I, uh, did she say why? Apparently, she's met this new dude and she's in love with him, whatever that means. 
a new dude. That is fucking bullshit. Are you serious? That is bullshit, man. Yeah, I know it's bullshit. It's not her. She would never meet anyone. Like, it's not in her personality. I think something's up, bro. I think something big is up. <laughs> she won't tell me. It, it, it doesn't sound like her. It, you know, she's every time I see you guys together, she's always, you know, caring and she does all these things for you and just just generally affectionate towards you. I, I don't understand. Right? Yeah? What's that? What's that supposed to mean? What? Nothing, man. Cut the crap, Matt. I know you've always had a thing for her for years. Are you kidding me right now? No, I haven't. I've seen the way you look at her. I've seen the way you've laughed at her dumb jokes. What the hell is this? Yeah, bro, she's funny. I think she's funny. I know you think she's funny. What are you talking about? And I, yeah, I've, I've looked at her, but I'm trying to be a friend, you know. She's dating my best mate. What do you, what do you want me to do? I, I got to make sure she's, you know, loyal to you and, you know, that she's just good for you. What, what? Matt, Matt, listen very carefully to me. She is and will always be good enough for me. Not if she's cheated, bro. Come on. Come on. So now you're on my side? You know, after months and months of Amy's perfect, Amy's this, you choose me? Well, mate, go fucking get her. She's yours. Are you serious right now, bro? Come on. Nay, listen. I've never looked at Amy or, or, you know, even thought about her in that way. And I would, believe me, I would never go there. <sighs> you only ever hang out with this when she's there. Bro, it, it's because she is there when I'm hanging out with you. Is it, is it all right to say that I miss our bro time <laughs> and I want to hang out with you? It's not because of Amy. I miss you too. I miss... I miss going to the bar, you know? I miss going back to your place and eating nachos and chilling and getting food babies. And then Amy came into our lives and I wanted to show you how amazing she is, how this incredible woman could be in our lives for a long time. And then you decide you want it to yourself. Nate, seriously, I, I know it's a tough time. We're all in quarantine. This, this. Just shut up. Just shut up, Matt. Okay. My mum's calling. Bro, listen to I me. I don't think. Bro. Have you actually? Have you Important actually to me really? Too, you know, said to her, sweetheart. You can tell me anything. Obviously, I love you, and. Whatever you're going through, we can work it through together. You know, sometimes people need to hear that. Let me just pull over. Yeah, I, I, I'm taking denim to the I'm park, good. okay? Oh, how's, um, how's denim? He's great, sweetheart. He's great. Okay. So tell me. Tell me exactly what she said to you. Um, She said that she's seeing someone else that she's in love with. Him. What? Who? 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 Yeah. Someone else. I don't know. I, I thought it was Matt because whenever I'm hanging with her, he's always around and I yelled at him. But he's your mate. He's one. I know. I just I just don't know what's going on. And she won't tell me. And it's so against her nature. I just, it's killing me, mum. It's killing me. Look, it just sounds like you all need to just take some breath and, um, yeah. you know, maybe give us some time, sweetheart. Maybe she is just feeling the pressure of, you know, the absolute chaos that's happening right now, you know. It's um, crazy. I know, it is. I, I have been really clingy. I know I shouldn't have been, but recently I have. We were a young boy in love, sweetheart. I never apologise for that. Um, look, I just ring her back. Give her some time. If you want me, I can go and talk to her myself. I can no, 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 mum, mum, just stop, please. Okay, I just want you to realise, you know, you've done nothing wrong. All right, just give her I some know. time and I'm sure you will sort it out, Okay. You know, you have love there, honey. Easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Okay. <laughs>
You all right? Yeah, yeah, I was just um, rushing into, into the thing. Cool. Are you okay? What's wrong? Oh, no, I don't know. I just, um, just, uh, you know, I had to get out of the house for a little bit and went over to try and see Nathan. And on my way over, he, he, um, poor boy, um, he, he said to me that Amy's having an affair. I cheated on him. And do you know anything, what? Sarah? I just thought I'd call you just to find out because I just, it's just not like her. No. I'm, you know, we let I'm shocked. I around. thought they were so solid. Uh, so did I. And, you know, I feel like, you know, she's come into our home and, you know, we trusted her and and she's just... Just shut on us. I just, um, he's okay. He's just, he's just, you know, he's trying to put up a strong front, but... Oh, he's such a good kid. My bad parent, Sarah, like, <laughs> you know, I, what could possibly make you think you're a bad parent, babe? I just, I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea, you know, but, um, I just Look, don't want it to be a good parent. I just, well, I know you would walk over coals. coals I just wanted you. to. You would walk over coals for you. That is not the sign of a bad parent. Um, I just feel like a failure right now. I just, I just feel like everything is out of my control, and you know, my son is, you know, I can't have him with me here because of this fucking virus, and and it just, I just feel like this weight is on my shoulder, and. And I can't talk to anyone because Scott's never here. I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. I just, um... I just, um... I don't want to put this on you. I know you've got your own stuff going on. And... Mm, it's okay. There's clearly something going on. I just... I just need to tell you something. I need to ask you something. I need to share this with someone and... Please, just, can you promise me this just goes between you and me? Okay, don't tell anyone. Just please, this, this stays between us. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, she she's she was talking to me about her divorce. Well, she, she wants to ask Scott for divorce. Oh, that's why yeah. she's been so weird. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's tough because she, she thinks he's having it. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, come on, like, they've, they've had rough times, but he wouldn't have an affair with someone. Like, he's not that kind of guy. No, Scott. No. Yeah. No way. <laughs> no, no, she's probably overblowing <clears throat> in her whole brain. You know how she does? She's the littlest thing. She's like, ah, she worries too much. He wouldn't be having an affair. Who on earth would have an affair with Scott? No, I'm, yeah, but, I, I, he, he is. Actually, <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah, what? How do you know? How do you... What makes you so certain that he's having an affair? What, do you go through his mail? Do you, like, do you, like, stalk him? Like, do you know the hotel where he's been doing it? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, you know the hotel where he's been doing it. <laughs> No. No. <gasps> no. What? That's just no. No, and no, no, I'm honestly kind of stuck on what I'm supposed well, to be Sarah, that's. I mean, I, I want to. I want. I, I want to support Erica. That's but, just a bit shit, isn't it? Um. Well, <laughs> Don't do much about it now. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, you. <laughs> not supposed to lie. I know, <laughs> but like, really? It, you know, I guess the heart wants what the heart wants, you cheeky sod. <laughs>
Just first tell me why are you not picking my calls? What's the point? You never even have the money. Talking is not going to make me able to pay for all the crap for the kids, is it? I don't want to talk to you, Adam. I just want you to pay. You know why I can't pay? I'm jobless now. I'm I don't I don't find any job outside and now you are asking me to pay the child support. Huh? <laughs> I am sick of that excuse. You had kids, you have responsibilities. You have to help look after them. I don't care if you can't get a job. I know you can't get a job. You're an idiot. You've never been able to support your family. You're a shit dad. That's not true, okay? That's not true. I love my kids and you know about it. Okay? If you loved them, you would make sure that they were fed and clothed and could get to school and do the things they need to do. But who's the one holding that? That's me, okay? So Sam, think of Sam, this kind Sam, of chit chat. You're never you're never you're never gonna you're never gonna be able to I don't even know why I have these calls. Look Sam I don't know why I rang. I'm just I'm not. I'm Sam, just gonna call it. Sam, hold on, hold on. Sam, you know how much I love my kids and you know how much trouble I am now in. I'm not finding any work out there and I miss my kids now. Please, I just want to see them. Yeah, you want to see them, but you can't see them until I know that you've paid your fair share. I'm going to not let you see them until you can help care for them. It's as simple as that, Adam. Simple as that. Do you really have heart, Sam? being jobless how can i bring that money and that is not a simple amount right it's a ridiculous amount what should i do do i rob someone oh how- well i just all right i have an idea i have an idea and i think even you could handle this because it's just one phone call all you have to do you know that guy you just did a job for yeah you know that guy well he's having an affair Mm. He's having an affair with someone. So all you have to do is pick up the phone, ring him, and then tell him that if he gives you the cash, you won't say a word. Please, please, I can't do mm-hmm. this. Please. Yeah, no, you just can't see your kids. All right, well, I've let you know how you can do this and that it's really bloody simple and that the ball is in your court, Adam. All right? Okay. Sam, All Sam, right. please let I'm me, done. let me. I'm out. I let told me, you how to do me, it. Talk, it's easy peasy. Talk to my kids. See you, Adam. Hello. Bye. Hey. Hi, Brett. How are you? Doing good, man. How are you doing? Oh, don't ask me, man. Really? What's going on? I'm in a pretty bad state. I'm sorry, bro. What's happening? Sammy is being very demanding these hmm. days. That's She's Sammy. not allowing me to visit my kids, man. <sighs> Just because I'm not paying her child support on time. Really? Oh, sorry, She's dude. being so demanding. On top of this, mm. she's she's asking me to do a dodgy job which can put me in jail. What? what? And I won't be able to show my face to my kids forever. Well, what's what's the job, man? What's what's going on, mate? What's happening? Talk to me. Maybe that's what she wants. What do you mean? What do you mean? What she wants? You know the guy that we worked for the last job. Yeah, that also. Seems man. that guy is cheating on his wife. <laughs> that guy, I don't know how this lady that, found out this. That guy's a complete and asshole. She's forcing me to blackmail that guy. Yeah, and pay her the child support. Really? <laughs> Did I say do it, man? That guy's an asshole. He deserves it. <laughs> we should bring that guy down, man. Oh, he treated you like shit. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I may end up in jail, man, if I get into this. Nah, you'd be right, man. Crazy lady. Nah, we could do it actually. You and I. Man, are you crazy? <laughs> no. I'm just sharing my pain, man. I'm not asking you to do no, it. No, I get that, man. But we could do this. We could make some money out of it. Screw that guy over. He deserves oh, it. It's too risky, man. <laughs> no. And no. That too for 5000 <sighs> 5000 No, it's not worth No, it's only 5000 That's nothing, man. We could do it. If you do it right, you don't get caught. We don't even get in any trouble if we do it properly. <laughs> Trust man, me. You don't have to take this risk. No, it's easy, man. Easy work. Good money, easy work, nothing to worry about. We got this, bro. We can do this. Trust me. Brent, how? He knows my voice, mate. Yeah, if he doesn't know mine. <laughs> no mine at all. Oh. 
Huh? What are you doing? <sighs> well, I'm saying I can do it, man. He doesn't know me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think... It doesn't seem good to me. Nah, it's fine, man. Trust me, we'll do well out of it. We'll get some money, sort our stuff out, and you can live off that. And it'll be easy, man. We'll make some serious cash. <laughs> easy work, bro. Absolutely. Sorry? Oh, all I can see is a roof. I know who you are, but you don't know who I am. I know all your secrets. All your dirty little lies. Everything. Everything about you that will ruin your life. Now, if you don't want everyone knowing, <laughs> you pay me 100 grand, and I'll make sure no one knows about what you've done. What secret? You know what you've done. If you're happy with me going and telling everyone, your work, friends, your family, Everyone's going to know, know what a piece of crap you are. <laughs> 100 grand. The blue garage bin at, at the end of the road. 2 p.m. tomorrow. You mess with me. I tell everyone. Every little dirty detail. You know, and what the fuck? Who is this guy? Boss. That's Scotty the Tongue. They call him Scotty the Tongue because he kind of likes to cut the tongues out of the people he kills. How's he related? He's a hitman. That's... That's it, really. Hey, Scotty. Was it you, Billy? I need to know if it was you. What? What? Was what, me? Did you talk? Talk about what? What's going on? Some fucker calls me up and says... I've got to give him a hundred grand or he's going to spill my secrets. So Maybe he's bullshitting bullshit you. Yeah. No, he's bullshitting you, mate. Was it he you? Didn't know anything? Was it you? It wasn't, it wasn't me, Scotty. <laughs> what secrets? You, what mate? the you fuck would this guy know? Well, maybe he fucking knows that you're fucking Sarah. <laughs> what the fuck would you know about that then, eh? Huh? <sighs> Everyone knows that you're fucking your wife's best friend, mate. <laughs> You don't look like you're doing too well, mate. Don't talk to me about shit. Don't talk to me about anything. And everybody know about me and Sarah. But I can't walk away, you know? I've got too many secrets. I'm fucking covered in them. I love my family. Nate, Eric. I really fucking love one day you'll understand that sometimes the best thing you can do for the ones you love is the worst thing. You got me? You understand? I get it. Do you? I get it, Scotty. I'm not... You just... You need to relax, mate. It's... Listen. You gotta do something for me, Billy. What? What do you want to do? I want you to find out. I want you to ask around. I want you to find out he talked. We've got the big shipment tonight. Dealers are hungry. Gotta find out who talked before, before the boss finds out. Okay? Can you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I'll. I've got a few contacts. I can. Call around and see what I can find out. Ask around. Then I'll pay that person a visit. Like I'm going to pay that dead fuck on a roof a visit. <gasps> Billy, nice surprise to hear from you. Yeah, what's up, babe? Well, you know, just uh, I'm waiting for a call from you, I suppose. <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, yeah, look, um, you haven't heard anything about Scotty, have you? Nice to hear from you too, Billy. Why? What? What's with Scotty? V, I'm serious. Look, um, someone's trying to blackmail him for a hundred grand, what? and yeah, a hundred thousand. Yeah. 
<laughs> what? What for? Why is Scotty so special? Oh, you know, he's fucking his wife's best friend. For a hundred thousand, Billy. Come on. A hundred grand. <laughs> Shit, you know. Surely it's going to be that. No, I... <laughs> what What can I do for you, Billy? Seriously, I need, you, I need to know if you know anything. No. I don't know anything. You need to tell me, V. Seriously. I don't know anything, Billy. You know everything about this sort of stuff. You can't tell me you're sitting there right now and you don't know anything about this at all. No, I haven't had anything. Are you going to come <gasps> see me, Billy? It's been a while. Yeah, look, I've got to sort this out. I've, you know, Scott's asking me to sort all his fucking, you know, business out. And it's not, it's got nothing to do with me. I've got my own, got my own drama to sort out, mate. Well, you know, if you need some stress relief, <sighs> just saying. Lee. Billy. Really? It's going to be okay. What? A hundred thousand for Scotty. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it does because he's, someone's blackmailing him for it. But I don't need to be brought into this drama. You know, I've got my own stuff here. I've got the stash here. I've got a lot of stuff here, as you know. And I don't need people knocking on my door Jeez. for this. <sighs> it's not okay. It's not okay, V. I need to sort this out. And I don't know. Look, if you can't help me, I'm going to go. But Actually, you just need- Billy, just wait. What, V? Well, there was the doctor. He came around last week. You know, for a doctor, you'd think he'd know the rules about the virus. I mean, out of everybody. He's so stupid. And actually, for someone who's supposed to be quite clean, he stinks. Like... Really stinks. What a fucking asshole. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why he was even brought into this. Well, when he came around, he was complaining a lot. He was going on and on and on about how he's taking all of the risks and you guys are making all the money. He was really pissed off. Oh, whatever. Seriously. I mean, I warned you guys when you brought him on. I <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking. Oh, I don't know. Look, he's a fucking idiot. Don't even listen to what he I says. I mean, Billy, got- I know men, you know, like you out of everybody should know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fucking ridiculous. Anyways. I don't have time for that. That's that's another that's in the deal for another day. I got um, I've got to sort all this stuff out. So, mm. I'll um, I'll go do that. Give me a call if you hear anything. Billy, it's been a while. Why didn't you, you know, why didn't you come around here? Yeah, look, I've got to sort all this out. You know. Someone's going to go down and pay big time for this, and I don't want to be in the middle of this when it does. Well, how about? You give it a few days, and then you come over here. You'll probably need to sort your head out then, too. Yeah, look, I'll come, I'll come around. I'll drop off the stuff. Yeah, we're low. We and... do actually need you to come around here to drop the stuff off. <laughs> all right, I'll do that. That sounds good. Um, yeah, all right, we'll do Wednesday. It's been a while, Billy. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Hey, so you're not going to believe this. Hey, what's going on? Anything happened with the girls? You are- we're fine. Don't worry, we're all good. Besides, you know we can take care of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I know that. I don't have to send anyone around then. We're fine. <laughs> but I did get this weird call from Billy. Billy? Yeah, he called me really freaked out. It's actually the first time I've seen him like this. What? What? What's going on? Look, I don't know, but uh, he was saying that Scotty's being blackmailed for a hundred grand. A hundred grand? A hundred grand. What the fuck? I know. You know what? (laughs) Someone's probably found out that he's been fucking his best friend's wife. Yeah. Hang on. Isn't he fucking his wife's best friend? Well, that's the thing. His wife's best friend is his best friend's wife. So, both. Oh, nice. Well, that's, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. Everybody knows that. Yeah. But a hundred grand for that? I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's something else. Darling, you wouldn't even get a hundred grand for what you do. 
Well, if I can't get a hundred grand, then it certainly isn't real. <laughs> well, you may be worth it, honey, but a uh, hundred grand's a lot of money. So what else do you think is going I think on? It's here? the drugs. Really? Well, I mean, what else could it be? And besides, I had the visit a visit from the doctor last week. Oh, such a creep. He came around and he was complaining to me about how he's the one that's doing all of the work and taking all of the risks. And you guys are just like skimping off his profits. What the fuck? Yeah. What? All the risks from behind his <laughs> desk? <laughs> Darling, you can do a lot of good work from behind the desk and uh, you don't mind skimping off me. Yeah, true <laughs> that. But at least I don't complain about it. <laughs> Look, anyway, that dickhead wouldn't know risk if it bit him in the ass. Yeah, but you know what? I haven't heard anything, but he's not likely to come to me because he's shit scared of me, you know. Scared of you, the little puppy dog. Mm. Aww. Only to you, babe. To everyone else, I'm a mad <laughs> You're dog. You're certainly crazy, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I also booked in uh, Billy for next week too. Oh, of course you did. Billy, your lover boy. Stop eh? it. He's a client <laughs> and he has the stash. Well, look, I don't give a shit, Don, as long as he's paying you, okay? He pays me well. <laughs> there. Well, keep that up. And go out and make us some money now, will you? Enjoy skimming uh, for my profits. <laughs> bye, boss. <laughs> All right. Bye now. My love. Where are you? I miss you. But Eve, it's Beck, not Richie. Put your fucking boyfriend on now. Oh! <laughs> Beck! Baby Beck! Becky Beck! Eve, are you fucking high again? Where's Richie? Uh, Richie's not here. Mm. But I am here. You can talk to me. Or better, you come over. All right, now listen up. Have you heard Richie talking to the doctor? Or heard anything they've been saying lately? Hmm? Uh, about what? About anything. <laughs> Eve? The doctor? He was here last week. Uh, oh yeah, but all he could talk about was how unfair it is that others are being quiet more when he's the one taking all the risk. Hmm. Yeah, that's the shit I've been hearing too. Was there anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> they were talking half an hour in private. Richie always does that, leaves me alone. Beck, we can talk half an hour in private. Oh, look, Eve, as they're talking half an hour, there must have been a lot more. Were they talking about the drugs? Anything about the drugs? I don't know. You have to ask it, Richie. Listen, you get that boyfriend of yours to give me a call straight away as soon as he gets in, and he better bloody well do it or there'll be trouble. Understand? Or you come here and we wait together for Richie. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake, Eve. Ah, Richie, mate, at last. I'll be waiting for you to call. Yeah, hey, Beck, what's going on? I couldn't get a thing out of Eve. Did she say anything at all? Oh, no. Well, she was just raining about how... The doctor's in trouble, we, we know, and um, how I should not talk to him for so long the other night, and then she got annoyed at me for not being home as much and not spending enough time with her, and that she can have anyone she wants, and blah, 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 blah. I'm an arsehole, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mate, we all know you're an arsehole. That's nothing new. <laughs> hey, uh, look, but here's what I've been hearing, right? So Vanessa called me. And she'd heard that Scott is getting blackmailed. Now, all I can think of is that someone's found out that he's screwing his best friend's wife. 
but everyone knows he's doing that. Yeah, well, that's right. So that shouldn't be a problem. Everyone knows, but if there's something else, I'd like to know what that is. What were you and the doctor talking about? Oh, uh, just how he's addicted and he wants to get off the shit. He's on the shit, not our shit. Yeah. Mm, I don't think so, right? He's got a new friend in town. I think he's getting it through him. He's got a new friend. And hopefully he's buying that stuff off him and not using our shit. But yeah. that friend, that friend, yeah. is, he, is he working with his friend or what? I don't think so. But he did come round the other night and was raining about uh, how unfair it is that he's doing all the hard work and taking all the risks and he's not getting his fair share of the cup. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what Vanessa said he was going on about to her too. Hey, Rich, um, this is a bit of a worry, mate. If uh, the doc is maybe working with someone else and he's carrying on about not getting enough money, you know what, that's a bit of trouble for us. And I don't know if this whole Scott and blackmail thing's connected either. That could be a whole heap of shit for us. You might want to talk to the boss, you reckon? Yeah, I'll give the boss a call. Yeah, look, better you than me, mate. I'd, uh, I don't get on too well with the boss sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, when all this shit's sorted, um, maybe we should catch up for a drink, yeah? Yeah, sounds good, man. Mm. All right. Good luck with the boss right. and uh, let me know how it goes, eh? Thanks. All right. Scott's gotten himself in a bit of trouble. Scotty, what's he done? Got himself blackmail. What? What the fuck? Mm. What about? Don't know. Guy didn't say. You two are as thick as thieves. You gotta have some idea. Yeah. Well, it could be a couple of things, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? You know he's been cheating on his wife, right? No, I didn't know he'd been cheating. What a yeah. fucking asshole. With his wife's best friend too. You are fucking kidding me. Seriously. What sort of guy does that? <laughs> his wife's a good wife. She's given him a son. She's given him the best years of her life. And you know what, between you and I, for her age, she's doing all right in the looks department. What a piece of fucking shit. Yeah. According to him, though, uh, she hasn't been putting out for, a, for quite a number of years now. And you think that justifies it? Yeah, well, if a man's got to go, he's got to go. Well, from what I've heard, Scotty's a little on the side. Maybe she just wasn't feeling it, if you follow my drift. You know, you should never attack a man's manhood, right? Beg your pardon? Yeah, you heard me. Be careful what you say next, Richie. Fine, okay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So if it's something else, what else could it be? There's always the drugs, right? Our drug. Fuck, we got it. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have sent you this if we didn't end up getting proof, boss. Yeah. But nobody knows about our drugs. It's a closed circle. Like, who would be blackmailing him about that? Your doc. Doc M? Yeah. What's, what's doc M doing? He's a blabbermouth, man. Like, he's going off and anyone saying how unfair it is that he's doing all the hard work and getting barely any of the cut. He's doing all the hard work? Fuck's sake, he's writing a few scripts. It's not hard work. Well, there's always the risk involved, right? I know, I so I'll give him that. There's a bit of risk, but fuck, not worth blackmailing Scotty over. No, he did come around like high as fuck the other night and was having a go at me. Ha and hang on a minute. Sorry, did you say he was high? Yeah. Fucking hell. I warned him. I told him to stay off that shit. He's a fucking loose cannon when he's on that. Jesus. Well, he's back on it. I don't know if it's ours or not, but... Um, oh, it, it better not be ours. Yeah. His life might be fucking worth living if it is. I don't think so, right, though. 
because uh, he's got this new friend in town. I reckon he's getting from him. Friend? Who's his friend? Oh, some Jack or Jay. Or... Jack or Jay? I don't know any Jack or Jay in the biz. Hmm. You sure that was the name? Oh, something's wrong with Jay. Fuck. Does he not realise that, that if Scotty opens his mouth, we all go down, including him? No. So, do you... So do you think that he might be using his new friend to get the Scotty, right? It's like a so middle guy. Yeah, to get the money that he thinks he's, he's earned. But how fucking stupid. I know. Jeez. <laughs> For a doctor, he's not very smart, eh? Huh. Oh, ain't that the truth. Mind you, it worked in our favour when we were trying to get him to, to do the scripts for us. Yeah. Fucking hell. So what did he say? Eve, oh, he doesn't say shit about anything except about how she hates me. She's always high as fuck. And... Are you giving her our drugs? Oh, no, not ours. It's other stuff. Sure? Yeah. All right. Go, okay, Richie. I trust you. Fuck. All right. I'm going to need to make a few calls, see if anybody knows a Jay or a Jack or whatever that's around that might have something to do with the dog. Uh, All right, look, thanks for letting us know. No I'll worries. be in touch. Cool. Hey, boss. How's things? Doc? Not bad. How are you? Yeah, sweet. Everything's good. It's good? No issues? Mm. Nah. Nah, everything's sweet as. How'd last night go? Yeah, last night. Hmm. Last night. Well, was I supposed to do something last night? I... You don't remember last night? Did I forget something? You do we have another order? Or... I don't know what you mean. Doc, I know. What do you know, boss? You're going to play it like that, are you? I'm not playing anything, boss, seriously. Doc, I know you got a problem. I don't have a problem. Who, what are you, who's been talking? What? Don't you worry about who's been talking. I know you're back on it. Well, I'm not back on it, boss, seriously. I'm, the session's working. I'm, I'm clean. Don't lie to me, Doc. I'm not, boss. Seriously, the sessions are really working. So last night, you don't remember, but you weren't on anything. Well, I went to a party. I had a couple of couple of totes, a couple of lines. They're passing the pipe around. I was just doing a bit of networking for the. You know, so the, it's just business. networking now. You're not on it. You're just calling it networking. Hey, ne you're what taking all the risks. What sort of... What fucking junkie has been in your ear? Wasn't a junkie. Wasn't oh, a junkie, Doc. Come on, boss. Come on, boss. You know what they're like. You know what they're like. They're fucking... They're, they're our major client base. You know what they're like. They're fucking losers. They're Doc. all their guts. They ramble shit. Doc. You're the one rambling Probably shit right now. Probably disappointed with what we were charging. You're the one rambling shit right now. I just told you it was not a junkie. It was someone called. Well, then who the fuck's been round and running their mouth about me? Hey. It's bullshit. Stop the fucking lying. I'm not lying. What do you want me to tell you, boss? The truth. Okay. I went to a party, as I do, mate of mine. Mates, of his are going to be there trying to, you know, he, he's telling me that I can get Doc, the, the potential clients Doc. for us. You listening to me? You listening, Doc? Yeah, I'm listening. It's too late. <laughs> What's too late? It's too late, Doc. What's too late? Sorry. No, no, no. Now we've got it for murder too. You're going to get a promotion for this.
Oh, thanks, boss. Didn't see that one coming. That said, there's still more to watch. Hi, how are you going? Good, thanks. How have you been? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, I'm actually glad that I ended up coming in and doing all the tests and everything because it took me so long to even get around to it. But now that I'm glad, I pushed myself into it and hopefully you can give me some good news and help. Yeah, well, um, you have, you, have you been getting a lot of rest, as I said? Yeah, I mean, there's not um, a lot else to do at the moment. <laughs> Um, That's for sure. That's for sure. Well, um... Probably not as much as I should, but, yeah. No. Well, um, I've called about your tests. We do have them back. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully everything's okay. Well... I'm not pregnant, am I? It- oh, my gosh. Imagine what Nathan would say. No, no, no. You're not. Oh, good. It's not, it's not that. It's not that. <laughs> Um, well, Amy, I've... it's not my iron levels. No, I that there's been like a problem with that before. Um, no, well, okay. it's a little more than that. It's do you remember the conversation that we had? This is, yeah, this is not good, is it? Well, as you know, I, I wouldn't normally make a phone call like this about this sort of thing, but under the circumstances. Um, it's, it, it's, in, it's important um, that what we, when I tell you what I'm going to tell you, you, you've got to try and stay calm. Um, yeah. Myself and my team, we're, we're going to be here for you through everything. But, um, God, Amy, I'm sorry. I wish I had better news. It's what I suspected. It's terminal. It's terminal, Amy. I'm so sorry. No. You've got this wrong. No. Amy, Amy, we've run the tests several times. I'm sorry. So what you're saying is I'm... Never gonna grow old. I'm never gonna have children. I'm Amy, it's important that you watch try them and grow up. Do, Amy, do you have anybody there with you to support you? No, because we're in lockdown and no one's here. Everyone's, everyone's at. Do you have anyone you, that homes. you can call? Do you have family? <laughs> Is there anyone that you can call at all to, to help you through this? Somebody to be with this you. This is just like mum. Mum died of cancer. Yes, I know you, um, you, you told me it was hereditary. <sighs> Amy, do you have family that you can call? Can you call? Well, how long do I have? It's not long, I'm afraid. It's, it's not long, Amy. Well, can't you do anything to fix this? Amy, I understand that you're upset. But when, once lockdown's over, you can come and see me and I can prescribe you something that'll make you comfortable. We're going to do everything we can to make you you're comfortable. A, you're a doctor and this is your job to fix this. You make people better. Amy, I'm sorry. This is something we can't do anything about. I'm so sorry, Amy. Is there anyone at all that you... What do you expect me to do? Do you have anyone at all that you can call? Anyone that you can talk to? Is there anyone with you at all? Is there anyone that can come and see you? They don't deserve this shit. No. Amy, it's important that you have support. (laughs) I don't even care about all that. I don't care about being comfortable. I don't... don't... I understand you're upset, Amy, but it's just, it's really important if you can get someone to to call someone or if someone can be with you to help you through this, it's important that you're not alone. I don't want to fucking die. I know. I know. I understand. 
And if there was something any of us could do, we would. I can prescribe you something that'll make you more comfortable. As soon as lockdown's over, you can come and see me. There are medicines that'll make you feel comfortable. Ease your pain through this. Look, I've, I've got to go. Yeah. Amy. Hey, Amy. Oh, my God. It's so good that you called. I've missed you so much. Hey. Like, I'm going stir crazy here. I don't even think I've washed my hair in a week because I'm not even seeing anyone. Like, I just, I don't even know yeah. what to do. I'm so glad you called. What, what's wrong? You don't look so great. Yeah, it's just not been a great day. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Um, I is it Nathan? So bad. No. It's Nathan, is it? What did he do? I will kill him if he touched you. What did he do? <laughs> it's not about Nathan. I know we fight a lot, but this time it's not. <laughs> okay. What is it then? I, you know how I haven't been feeling well. Yeah. Um, and I put off going to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, I did tell and you to told go. me I should, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't go, and maybe I should have. But I called the doctor. Right, well, um, um, it's not good. I mean, how bad could it be, right? He has to tell you over the phone, so it, it couldn't have been that bad. You know, we can't go in anyway. Um, yeah. With everything. Oh my God, are you pregnant? That's not bad news, Amy. Being pregnant is amazing. Oh, and I'll support you no matter what you decide to do. Like, even if Nathan, like, it doesn't matter. Whatever he wants doesn't matter. Like, I will support you with everything. And, and, oh, are you going to find out if it's a boy or a girl? That would be so amazing. Oh, I'm you're going to look so gorgeous, Amy. Oh. I'm not. You're not? Pregnant. No. Oh. Wish what I was. It, <laughs> I'm dying. What do you mean you're dying? I don't have much longer to go. What do you mean? I've got cancer. Oh, Amy. If we can get a second opinion. We can we can go somewhere else. We can see another doctor. It's too late. It can't be too late. I can't lose my best friend. Oh, Amy. <laughs> well, uh, have you told Nathan? No, not yet. I have to call him soon. Yeah, let him know. He'll want to know. He'll want to be there for you. I can't tell him. What do you mean? He'll support you. I know what I said before, but he will support you. For what? I'm just going to be dead at the end of it. I'm just going to break up with him. You. I'm not going to tell him. I'll, I don't know, I'll tell him I've been cheating on him or something. Um, it's Maybe not fair to him. It's not He's gonna have to watch me. <laughs> He's gonna have to watch me die over the internet, and then get over me or whatever. When he could just be living it up with the girl of his dreams and not have to worry about any of it. Doesn't so. Amy, you are the girl of his dreams. He loves you. You can't <laughs> over the internet. It's not his choice to make. <sighs> Just, 
just don't, don't do anything drastic, okay? I'm going to come over. Screw this lockdown. I don't care. I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to come to your place, okay? Just don't go anywhere. Don't do anything. Don't call him. I'll be right there, okay? I'll be really soon. I'll see you soon. Hold tight.